So about seven years ago, my dad was diagnosed with cancer, and he passed away um, about seven months after that. And we were prepared for that time, and we had a few months when we knew the cancer treatments weren't going to work, that we knew that eventually he was going to pass away. And I thought that him passing away was going to be the hard part, and in hindsight, it was actually the easy part. One of my youth leaders at my dad's funeral, he came. He came to me and his name was Mark and he said, James, I can't stay for the funeral, but I wanted to come and share something with you. I know that losing your dad's really hard and he shared with me when he lost his dad and the years after how it became an opportunity for him to get to know God as his uh, heavenly father. And he counseled me to do the same. Philosophically, I understood that advice and it made sense to me because yeah, I, I just lost my dad and I'm gonna need someone to talk to and, and to be able to lean on in the ways that I lean on my dad. But what I didn't grasp was how hard that was actually going to be. I understood that, but life is hard and unrelated to my dad's passing, you know, we all have things that come up. As those things came to me, I never really took that time to follow Mark's advice to me, to get to know God as my Father in Heaven, and to build that relationship in the same way that I had a relationship with my dad. Instead of embracing God as my Father, I was resentful that I didn't have my dad around to pick up the phone and call and say, Dad, what do I do about this? Or I've got this thing going on with one of my kids. What would you do? Or, hey, I had this really cool victory. I want to share it with you. Or, I'm just bored out of my mind driving. I just want to talk to someone. And so instead of uh, taking those moments to build a relationship with God at those times, I would be resentful. And so instead of having someone else to lean on, I felt alone. So in those moments when life was hard, I was feeling lost or alone and I'd have those desires to connect with someone like my dad or wish that I had my dad and in those moments where I was alone with my thoughts I could hear Mark's voice saying reach out to your father in heaven build that relationship with him and while I knew that's what I needed to do that's not what I wanted to do what I really wanted was to feel at peace was to feel connected but our, our nurturing relationships from our parents can't be replaced. So finally, over time, I was like, you know what? I think I can find that in God. I think I, 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 think I finally just need to do that. It's not going to be the same. Like, I physically don't have an audible conversation with God. It's not like I pick up their prayer line and God's like, hold on a second, <laughs> you know? But, like, for example, this morning I was reading in the New Testament, and he talked about how God is merciful. When we turn to him, we, we see his mercies. God is not an idea to make us feel good about our beliefs. God is real, just as real as any other person in our life. And I wish that I had focused on that relationship early on in my life.